Next caller is Ashish from Mumbai. Ashish, a warm welcome to you in the program. Please ask a question. Yeah, I wanted to ask uh, Mr. Virendra about this new concept called uh, Smart SIP, Booster SIP, where some amount is being deducted when the market is up and down. So what is this concept? And again, I'm seeing that Kotak has already launched ICICI, Super SIP and Booster SIP. How it works and what what is your uh, take on this? Okay. Uh, yes, uh, SIP has become very popular. It has become a rage. You know, everybody thinks that if it is SIP, it must be good. And uh, the concept of SIP is uh, pretty straightforward. You know, it's a recurring investment uh, in a fairly disciplined manner. And uh, the monthly SIP, I quite like it because, you know, that is what most people in the organized sector, that is how our earning cycle is, that is how our expenditure si expense cycle is. You know, we, we buy our car on EMI, monthly EMI, or, you know, home loan on EMI, and we get our salaries every month. And so why not invest every month? So in, to that extent, SIP is quite compelling. It, it might look like too simple an idea, but it works. And it works also because, you know, the, nowadays, the technology enablement whereby, you know, you give a standing instruction and the money gets debited from your account and it carries on. In fact, many a times I find that, you know, most investors who, in fact, if it has happened in my, in my, uh, for me, uh, some of the SIPs which I did set up and I forgot, that turned out to be a bonanza simply because, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was, it was, uh, I was not noticing it. It just kept happening for a couple of years and then suddenly you realize that, okay, sizable money has accumulated coupled with compounding at a higher rate in the market and being through the down cycle, up cycle. All these booster SIPs, uh, super SIP, you know, they, it is trying to, it is trying to uh, optimize the return on SIP. <laughs> the broad concept is that SIP carries on with a constant amount in rising as well as falling market. Whereas they, these concepts, you know, these, uh, they try to strike a chord with investors that they will help you buy more when the markets are cheaper and uh, maybe sell some or, you know, not invest when the markets are not cheap or expensive or they are at a very high level. And my understanding is that this is more of a sales ploy. The reason is that the simplicity of SIP that you are aware of the constant amount, you are prepared with that much of balance in your account, that all those things will assume that, you know, you have plenty of money lying in the bank account which will remain idle and it will try and get invested opportunistically at the right time. Uh, we ca carry on with your simple SIP. And, you know, the other thing which most investors should do is uh, revise your SIP amount every time you have your income goes up. Because uh, many a times, you know, we think in terms of cost and that I've been doing SIP of 5,000 rupees. And you can carry on with your 5,000 to PSIP for 5-7 years. But during these 5-7 years, your income has gone up substantially. And uh, when you started, 5,000 was quite meaningful. Maybe it was 10% or 20% or 5% of your saving, of your income. But now it is nothing. It's a very insignificant percentage of your income. That won't work. Revise your SIP amount with your rising income and... Uh, be on to a simple plan. The, the beauty of SIP is in its simplicity. Don't complicate that. 